Hi guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to play Genesis 4329, Proverbs, Proverbs 13 and Psalm 110. Let's get started. When I found a severe delay, I wondered in the grain that they had brought from each of the files that you. Go again, buy us a little fruit, but you said to them, man's only one to say, you shall not see my face unless your brother's with you. You said, I brother, with us, we will go down and buy you fruit. And if you're not sent, I will not go for it now. And then said to you, you shall not see my face unless your brother's with you. You say, why did you treat me so badly? I said, I tell the man, you, know, you have another brother. And you replied, the man questions carefully about something. Okay. So he said, your father's still alive. Do you have another brother? Uh, we told her it was an answer to these questions. Could we in any way know that he would say, bring your brother down? And Jesus said to us, as well, and the boy with me, and we were right and we may live not that. Both we and the nurse of the little ones. I'll be a pledge of safety from my hand, you shall acquire him. If I do not bring him back to his hand before you, then let me bear the blame for him. If we are not delayed, we will know him done twice. If their father is not sent to him, if it must be certain, do you take some of the choice streets and land in place, then carry a present down to him, and a little bomb and a little money, gum, leather, pistachio nuts and almonds. Take double the money you gave me, carry it back with you, the money that was returned in the mouth of your sacks. Perhaps he was a nice son. Do you ask you? Take her to your brother and go, go, go again to me. You put on my degree and let you fall in me, send me back your own, but other brother than you. Ask me if I am buried with John and Bury. So I mentioned this person and they took down the money with them. And then John, they both went down to each and stood before Jason. And Jason still went in with them and said, This is what they In the men to have to fall down and what make me. The men had to die with me at noon. The men did just return and brought the men to Jesus. So the men were afraid because they were gone. And Jesus was in the same. He took up the money which was placed in the sex first time. Very well, and so there he may sell us a whole bunch to make a sense of the sea of the donkeys. We had to steal a juice to make the money to build the house. And so, oh, well, we came in the first time to our food. Uh, food. And when we came to the other place, we opened our sacks. And there was each man's bottom in the back of the sack, and money for weight. So they brought it again with us, we brought it away. Went down with us to buy food. You do not know. No. You do not know who put it on your sacks. Yeah, you do not Miss Chief, don't be afraid. You will go out there and go to your father's good church and get sacked for you. I receive your money. Then he brought Sammy out to the man who brought the man to Jesus' house and gave him the water. And I know that they had lost the food, and he had given them all his fun. He prepared the present for Jesus' coming in there. When they heard that they should eat bread, when Jesus came home, they brought their house into the house there. Just that they helped them brought down to him and took them to the ground. He inquired about the orphan and said, Is your father alive? Well? Oh, my name is He's still alive. He said, You said my father's alive. Well. He's still alive. He bowed their heads and pushed themselves and lifted up his eyes and saw his brother went to He was also on his side. He was the youngest brother. I have him, he spoke to me. God be gracious to you, my son, and just hurry there. And his compassion grew warm for the and saw a place to be. And he entered his chamber and wept there, and he washed his camera. And the trial of his he said, So the food. He said, The Bible said, The lady lied, and the Bible said, And the Egyptians ate it with her. And the Bible said, The Egyptians could not eat the Hebrews. And that was an abomination to the Egyptians. And they sat before the first part appointed by her. And the youngest point to youth, and the men looked at one another and said, The motions were taken to the hundreds too, and the benches portion was five times as much as any others. And he drank and went away with them. And he commanded the steward of his house, so the men sacked with him, and as much as they could, put each man's money in the mouth of his sack. And then Mark got the silver cup in the mouth of the sack of the others. He had the money for the grave, and he did as Joseph told him, and as soon as the morning was light, the men sat away with their noggins. He had gone and they showed this round the sea. And then Joseph said to the steward, I'll follow after the man when you ever take me to Satan. I repay you for good. Is it not from this that my Lord Jesus by this day practice his divination? They have done evil under this. When he overtook them, he spoke to them these words. He said to them, I do not know speak such words as these. I'll be here for my servants to do such things. He held the money that he found left in our sack. They brought back to you from the land again. How then could we still steal a vote call? A steal a silver vote call? A silver vote call from our real Lord's house. Whichever your servants is found with it, should I? And you so good, my Lord says. He said, Let it be as you see, he has found it, or shall be myself. And the rest of you shall be his sin. Then he turned quickly, but I would sack to the ground, each man opened his sack. And he said, We do not the elders, and I did the end. And the couple fell on his head, and they tore their clothes, and every man went his donkey. And they returned to the sea. And Judah and his brothers came to Jesus' house, and he stole that, and fell from the children. Jesus said to him, What do you think you have done? Do you not know that a man like me can indeed practice doing this? And Jesus said, What shall I say to him? What shall I say? Well, how can we clear ourselves? God has found out the good you sent. And we are my Lord's son, both we and he, and I say, who will help us be well. Now he said, Far be it from me, and I should do so. And then man has hidden, and God shall do so. I see, go up in peace to your heart. And the truth went out, and said, My Lord, please let you shall see him. The Lord, my Lord, says, Do not be angry, but against yourself, for you are like a pair of 
Then the Lord lost the son, saying, Give me your father, O brother. He said to him, Oh, your father, no man. The younger brother, the child of his own age, his brother said, He lands after his mother, child. His son was. He said, Two sons, bring me down to him. I may set my eyes on him. He said to my Lord, The boy cannot leave his father. If he should leave his father, he and his father die. And he said, Two sons, unless you give him a brother, come down with you. She must in my face again. And he went back to his son, my father, who told the boy's mother. My father said, Go get him, buy some of the food. He said, We cannot get him. And the youngest brother did it, unless they were not good. You now see the man's face on the same as his brother's face. And then you say, so I have all such as you know, my wife only two sons, one left in person. So he's been torn to pieces, and I have never seen him since. And if you take this one, I shall call me, and I'll have his name, and he will bring down my gray hairs and go to show. And therefore, as soon as I come to him, I see also my heart, and the boy's not with us, then I still have his brother, and the boy's not with us. So she says that the boy's not with us. And God, his sons will bring down the gray hairs, so he said, and my father, and so I'll show. And so I became a punch of safety for the boy. My father said, If I do not bring him back to you, you shall bear the blame before my father and mother. And therefore, we shall be sent on him. Instead of boys, the servant, to my Lord, the boy go back to his friends. How can I go back to my heart if the boy is not with me? Now, fear to see you here with my father. And then Joseph could not control himself the whole world as he stood by. He hardly make everyone great for it. And no one stayed with him when Joseph made himself in the church box. Then he left the last of the Egyptians' head. And asked about fair hair. And Joseph said to his friends, I'm a Joseph, and it's my father's daughter. But his brothers could not answer the to me. As for the sister, Joseph said to his brothers, Come here to me, please. He came to me, and he said, I'm your brother Joseph, whom you sold me to you. And now do not be distressed angry with the sons, because he sold me. He got something before he took his up, for the family's been in this land. In the land, these two years, and there he had five years, in which they had been out of the land of the house. He was something before he took his up for your reverend mother. He keep a wife in these hours. He says, Not you sent me here, but God has made me a father to fire. And the Lord of uh, Lord of Lords has a Lord of Lords. I ain't got to my father then. Say to him, thus says his son Jason, Rose me a Lord of all you shall come down to me, dear old Terry. You shall dwell in the land of Goshen, and you shall be near me. You and your children, and your children's children, and your flocks, and your hands, and all that you have. There I'll provide for you, and there yet five years in famine to come, so that you and your house, and all that you have, don't come to my And now I see the rise of my brother Benjamin. See, as in my mouth that speaks to you, you must tell my father all my own age, and all that you see. I can bring my father down here. He fell upon his brother Benjamin's neck and left, and Benjamin left upon his neck. And he kissed all his brothers and left. And upon the last day, his brothers talked with him. Brothers talked with him. And the report was heard in Pharaoh's house, just brothers have come. He pleased Pharaoh's house, and Pharaoh said to Joseph, And Pharaoh said to Joseph, Hey, dear brothers, do this. You lord your, lord your peace and go back to the land again. And take your father and your hands and come to me. I will give you the best land that you do. And shall I defy the land? And you, Joseph, I command for you to come in to say, do this, take wagons from the land of Egypt for your little ones and for your wives, and bring your father and come, having their consent for your little and for your goods. And the best of all the land of Egypt is yours. Since it is like this, so just give them wagons, and to take an affair, and give them provision for the judgment to each and all, and give a change of As you mentioned, he gave 300 shekels of silver and five changes of clothes. And if his father, he sent for us a donkey. Ten donkeys loaded with the good things in Egypt. And good things in Egypt. And ten female donkeys loaded with grain. Ten female donkeys loaded with grain. And provision for his father on the journey. And he said, his brothers were as they would depart. He said, Do not go on the way. So they went out to uh, Egypt and came to the land of the king. And they followed Jacob. He told him, Jesus is still alive. He's a of all the way. And Egypt is hard to get out for him. He told him all the words of Jesus, which he said to him. He saw the words that Jesus said to get scary. So they followed Jacob and went. And it just says, No, Jesus, my son's still alive. I'm going to see him now before I die. And you know, Israel took his chair and he was told that he had to give to Bishma. And for sacrifice to the grove of his father, and God spoke to Israel and visions of God. And I uh, answered, Jacob, Jacob, he said, I am God, the God of your father, don't be afraid to go down to you, for they are making to pay attention. And I myself will go down and teach you, and I will bring you up again. And just then shall cut your eyes, and Jacob set out from Bishma. And Jacob set out from Bishma. Sons of Israel carry Israel. Carry Jacob their father with them. Their father, their little ones, and their wives, and the wives of their Jacob said, Carry them. They had such a good life story with their which they had gained the land king. And they had gained the king. They could always offshoot with them. And his sons, his sons, sons with them. His daughters, and his daughters, his sons, daughters. Who was also he brought with him? Brought with him into Egypt. And these are the his sons, Israel. He came to Egypt, Jacob and his sons, Reuben, Jacob's first one, and his sons of Reuben, Hannah, Pally, Hexor, and Kali, sons of Samaria, Gemini, Jack, and Zerhan, Shul, and his son of a king, that one. 
Shall lead by Gush and Kras and the right sons of Judah, uh, and then shall the Parish and Sarah. And Parish and Sarah. And the sons of Parish were Hezron and Hamel, the sons of Isaac, and Tola, Piva, Yob, and Shem. Son of Zebul and Sarah, Sarah, Yob, and Jemuel. These are the sons of Leah, whom she brought to Jacob and Panah. And the story of Dina, all together, the sons of his daughter, number 33. The sons of Gad, Zephi, and Hagi, Shuni, Esmin, Ari, Ari, Nari. The sons of Asher, Imna, Ishra, Ishri, Bari, and Sarah, the sister. The sons of Bari, Heba, and Malkiel. These are the sons of Zilpah, whom Laban gave to Leah's daughter. And these she brought to Jacob, 16 persons. The sons of Rachel, Jacob's wife. Joseph and Benjamin, two Joseph and Lamb, and Egypt were born Master and Nephi. And Master and Nephi built upon a pharaoh, and priests all important. And the sons of Benjamin, Bella, Becca, Ashbel, Gilead, Naaman, Ehi, Rosh, Muffin, Hophim, and Olet. These are the sons of Rachel, who were born to Jacob. Fourteen persons in all, the sons of Dan, the son of Dan, Hushan, the sons of Nephi, and Jah, and Jazeel, Beni, and Jez, and Shul. These are the sons of Bilhah, and Laban gave to Rachel's daughter. And these she brought to Jacob, seven persons in all. All the persons belong to Jacob, who came to each other, who and sons. Rather than going to Jacob's son's wife, there's 56 persons in all. The sons of Joseph, and there were born to him and he did it to him. All the persons in the house of Jacob came to Egypt with 70. And he sent Judah ahead of him to Joseph to show, to show the way before him in Goshen. When he came into the land of Goshen, Joseph prepared his chariot and went up to the Israel as well in Goshen. He was sent himself to him, fell on his neck, and wept on his neck and be alive. He said to Joseph, You will not be die since I have seen your face and know that you are still alive. Joseph said to his brothers and to his father's house, Go up and tell Pharaoh, and will say to my brothers and my father's house, and the land came out quickly. And the men are shepherds, so they have been keepers of livestock. They have brought their flocks and their herds, and they have very positive to serve. Well, your occupation, you shall say, your servants are being keepers of livestock. No matter you, even from, even from, even from the town of Beth, we are now father. You know that you may dwell in the land of Christian, and for every distress is abomination to the Egyptians. Uh, so Joseph went in and told Pharaoh, the other way, brothers, with their flocks and herds, and the people this. They come from there again. They are now in the land of Goshen. And for all the land of brothers, he took five and sent them to Pharaoh. And they said to his brothers, What is your occupation? And then they said to Pharaoh, We are sons of shepherds, and our sons were. He said to Pharaoh, We have come to the general land, for there is no place for your sons of folks. But from the surveying of that kingdom, and now please lay your sons to the land of Goshen. And then Pharaoh said to Joseph, Your father and your mother, the brothers said to you, They are in Egypt, so before we sell your father and your brothers in the best land, and then sell in the land of Goshen, and if you know any able men among them. And one of them then charged him about livestock. And Joseph brought Dan to Jacob his father and stood before her. And Jacob blessed her. And Pharaoh said to Jacob, How many of the days are you years here? Jacob said to Pharaoh, The days of the years must be journey, one hundred and thirty years. If you are in Eva, at the end of the days of my life. And they have not attained to the days of the years of my life. And of your fathers, and the days of the next year. Jacob blessed Pharaoh and ran off in the presence of Pharaoh. And Jacob, Joseph saw his father's brothers and gave him possession. And the land of Egypt and the rest of the land. And the land of the rest of the this was commanded Joseph to provide his father. His brothers and all his father's household was very born to a number of their defense. And there was no fear in all the land, for the famine was severe, and it was very severe. So the land of Egypt and the royal king, and the land of king, and the land was by reason of the famine. When Joseph got enough of the money that was found in the land of Egypt and the land of king, he exchanged for the grain that they had brought. When Joseph had brought the money into Pharaoh's house, and the money was all spent in the land of Egypt and the land of king, and all the Egyptians came to Joseph and said, Yes, yeah, Pharaoh, why should we die before your eyes? How many God? And and Joseph said, Give your livestock, and I'll give you food in exchange for your livestock. If your money is gone, so they brought their livestock to Joseph. He used to give them the food in exchange for all their livestock and their herds. Livestock herds and donkeys. His father was food in exchange for all their livestock that year. And the years and day he came to the following year and said to him, You're not hiding from them, Lord. That our money is all spent. That is the livestock of my lords. There's nothing that I feel so I'm not in my voice and I'm like, Why should we die on floor? And your eyes, both me and that. But I said, I have a fear of me within the land will be sent to Pharaoh. And you will see that we may live and not die, and that the land may not be desolate. And Joseph brought all, all the land of Egypt from Pharaoh. And all the Egyptians sold their fields because the famine was severe on them. And then came Pharaoh, as I saw the people, and they sent to them, and then they ate Egypt to their mother. To the other end of the land, the priests did not die, for the priests had fixed the land so fair. They lived on the other land, so Pharaoh gave them, and therefore they did not sell their land. And for Joseph said to the people, Oh, I have this day brought you in the land for Pharaoh. And be, and be. Now here, see if you shall sow the land. The harvest you shall give the fifth to bear. The full fifth shall be yet, and you see if you have and this food for yourselves and your households. Your households, this food for your little ones. And he said, You are safe, I have any place alone. And we sent to Pharaoh, and to the Jews to be the statue of the same land of Egypt. And then it's dead to this day, and the Pharaoh should have faith. But then the priest of the land did not become Pharaoh's. Thus is a so in the land of Egypt, and the land of Goshen. And we gained possession of it, and we were fearful and multiplied greatly. 
New York lived in the age of 17 years. Her days in Jacob Lee is a black woman who lived 47 years. In the time of Junior, that is, I must die. He hoped some juice and said to him, Now I found favor in your sight, put your hand under my thigh, and promised to deal kindly and show it with me. Do not bury me in this Egypt. Let me lie with my father, carry me out of Egypt, and bury me in their burying place. He answered, I will do as you say, he said to me. Spare to me, he swore to me, and yourself, bow yourself, and put in the hand of his bed. And after this juice was told, Behold your father's son. He took with him his two sons, my son, their friend. And he was told to you, your son, Joseph, has come to you. And it is our solemn history and solemn man. And Jacob said to Joseph, Go on, mighty pit to me. And he rose and then he came and blessed me and said to me, Behold, I'll make you food for my mortal life. I'll make you a company of people, so I'll give this land to your offspring, and I'll do you an everlasting possession. And now you two sons who were born to you in my age before I came to you in Egypt. No, my Ephraim and Manasseh shall be there. This remains to me now. And until now, and your father, after them shall be yours. And you shall be called by the name of the in your inheritance. That's me when I came from Padland to my sorrow, Rachel died in the land. And there was still some distance to go to Ephrath, and he buried them on the way to Ephrath. And it is just what Joseph's name, Joseph's son, he said, Well, the Joseph said to his father, Now my sons, whom God has given me here, he said, Bring them to me, but thou hast lost them. Now the eyes of Israel are dim in age, and he will see. So Joseph brought them here, and gives them the priest. And Israel said to Joseph, I never expected to see a priest, and God has let me see us from Joseph. And Joseph remained with them from his days, and he bounced off the face to earth. Joseph took them back, left his right hand toward Israel, and left hand, and Master his left hand toward the earth. And man said, left until it sounds right. And he brought them to the earth. And stretched his back and moved the head of Ephraim. And he was the end of his left hand. And the head of man said, causing his hands from man said, it was the first. And he ate him. And the last Jewish said, And God pulled him as far as ate him. And I said, Well, God has been my shepherd. There are a lot of men left long to this day. And he chose to redeem me from the more evil. That's the little boys. And left him by me and he carried on. And he my father's ate him. And I said, And he got into a much sheep in the steel. And he just saw his father raise right hand and the head of Ephraim. He displeased him, and he took his father's hand to be from Ephraim's head to Manson's head. And Joseph said to his father, Not this way, my father, since this one is the first one. And your right hand was said, I saw my priest and said, I know my son, I know he is a shall be the common people. He is a shall be great. Nevertheless, his younger brother shall be great with me. There is often he shall become all two nations. And they blessed him that day, saying, The value is all will produce blessings, saying, Go and make his Ephraim and Manson, and answer. So as he put Ephraim before Manson, there is a set of Jews. You are only about to have the gold be with you. I'll bring you again to the new house. Well, I've given two thousand and two thousand and only not to say. I took from the matter and handed it once a place along with my back. Proverbs. Proverbs. 13. When my son used his father's drink, he was scoffed just on this drink. He threw him through his mouth and made it so good. He decided that what she is for fire, so I'll get some after he was left. He opens my eyes for us, lifts up to the world, and the solid self creating gets nothing. The solid to do a journey to this spot, and my son hid false with the wicked thing, shall be distressed. My son has got him as great as my mother, and sent him to the world, and one pretends to be, but she has nothing. One pretends to be poor, he has great love, and the rest of it makes life as well. And the poor man has no doubt, the life of the righteous rejoices with one pill, but we cry. My son's got nothing to strive for, those who take it by sin, and love can hear slavery done, but the love of God is little by little increasing. Those who fail to miss the heart, secret is out for those true love. And that decides the web of his destruction of himself. And here it is, the command will be a woman. He sees the wise of the world. The one turned away from the snow of death. Good sense from the sphere. And the way of the treasure is there. Every period of men actually follows with a full force as well. You can miss the applause and control of faith and what brings here. Have faith in the end of the space come to meet the world's instruction. Have faith to prove his honor and have desire to fulfill the sweet sex one. It's no way from evil to what makes the world. Very well, sin wise because of it. Command your force will suffer harm. The last of the seasons with the righteous are a world of good. You can end this in the house and switch to the children. The sins worth of the earth for the righteous. Oh, grand upon you are much free. They serve to eat just the worst face of hate so. He loves him still gentle and the righteous enough to satisfy his appetite with value to make his suffer smart. Psalm 110. Psalm 110. Psalm 110. And the Lord said to my Lord, in my right hand, try to make your enemies your footstool. Most of this fall from sight. You might accept all the mischief and mischief people will offer themselves greater than the day your power. And then the Holy Ghost, from the womb of the morning, the dew of the youth will be yours. And also, I will not change my will praise forever for the old and the day. And those who do right here will shatter kings on day of shine. You will see judgment among the nations, for the corpses, he will shatter chiefs of the wanted. He will drink from the brook by the way, that boy will lift up his head. And the stones will enter the wash, but these very heads will fall into heaven. Hallelujah. Get in and come, and we don't know this is in heaven. It's not there, but forgives the death from the judges. It's not temptation, there's no more. Yes, we need to find the growth of God. See you tomorrow. Bye.